Hello everyone. Bacterial resistance to antibiotic has been a global issue. Choice of effective antibiotic and use of adapted doses in the initial phase is important to limit emergence of resistance. Today talking about MIC that is minimum inhibitory concentration of antibiotic. So what does MIC? MIC is the lowest concentration of the antibiotic which completely prevents visible growth of test strain of an organism under controlled in vitro conditions mic score are important to confirm resistance of microorganisms to an antibiotic it's a quantitative method mic score is used to choose which antibiotic to administer to patients with specific infection and to identify an effective dose of the antibiotic to the organism MIC score are compared to the breakpoint. If the MIC score is less than the breakpoint, the organism is susceptible. And if the MIC is higher than the breakpoint, then it is resistant. So what is breakpoint? Breakpoint is the highest effective concentration of the antibiotic at the site of infection following systemic administration at established dose. It's not just the value of the MIC that is important. That is whether it is lesser than the breakpoint. It's also the number of dilutions that is away from the breakpoint. Point. For example, here erythromycin is 4 dilutions away from the breakpoint, where pradofloxacin is only 3 dilutions away, as seen here. Though measured MIC for pradofloxacin is lower, the strain is more susceptible to erythromycin. So, one has to keep in mind about it. Situations where MIC determination would be useful one is if the patient has severe life threatening infection, second is the site of infection where it is difficult to reach like CNS infections, endocarditis, mediastinitis, prosthetic implant infections, bone and joint infection and prostatitis. Next, if the antibiotic has a risk of toxicity like aminoglycosides, vancomycin usage, linezolate, cholestin, beta-lactins and the last factor is the patient's factor that is if the patient has obesity, if the patient is elderly, the patient has a renal insufficiency and if the patient is critically ill. So, these are the situations where MIC determination would be useful. Factors for selecting appropriate antibiotics include MIC value, second is how far the MIC is from the breakpoint, third is site of infection, fourth is age, immune status of the patient and the comorbidity. Next is the mode of action, next is the pharmacokinetics that is volume of distribution, bioavailability and the route of administration and the last is side effects, contraindication and toxicity margin has to be kept in mind. So, hope this was useful. Thank you.